What's going on you guys? This is the Mexican. I have another Dell Precision. This is the MIDI tower. It's gonna be upgrades. So first we're gonna do is remove the side cover panel. So I'm gonna remove the front cover base. I'll show you guys the model number. So this one is uh, 36, 3620. The first one I'm going to do is uh, remove the hard drive caddy. I'm going to be upgrading to solid state drive. And what you guys have to do is you have to buy the this, uh, they sell this caddy actually, it's a 2.5 inch from 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. You can install up to one solid state drive and you can install another uh, solid state drive or you can do one solid state drive and another one 2.5 inch laptop for the storage, like a two terabytes, you can do both. Then what you have to do is uh, you have to buy the Y splitter cable for the M SATA power. For the SATA power cable you have to buy, the Y splitter cable. Then what I'm going to do is, uh, and you guys can use, uh, the one I'm going to be using is an Intel solid state drive. This is a 512 gig, this is the SSD Pro 5400 S series. Or you can go with uh, Evo 850 or you can go with the 850 Pro, it's a little better, it costs more. So I'm gonna do the Intel. So you're gonna do install like this. And the screws. Now you're gonna take the 3.5 inch caddy and install it like this. Then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take the Y splitter SATA power cable and install it like this. And you're gonna connect the SATA, you're gonna go like this, connect it back, and connect the SATA cable. And you're done. I'm just gonna connect this from the power supply. Now I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna be upgrading the memory using a DDR4-2133, and it's gonna be nine ECC and buffer memory for a desktop. So I'm gonna be using the match pair again DDR4 2133 and this is an 8 gig per each slot. Total four sticks, so that's 32 gigs of RAM. And you install the memory properly, you can hear two clicks.
Great, the memory now will be the last part is be the video card. And we're gonna be installing through right here where the blue slot is. This is PC Express time 16 slot right here, the top one. So we're gonna do this little latch right here, press it down like this. And you're gonna move the PCI bracket. And the guys, the video card I'm gonna be installing is a G, it's a gigabyte. This is like an entry level video card for gaming. This is a gigabyte G4 GTX 1050Ti. And you don't have to upgrade the power supply. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the two PCI brackets, because this is using two slots, two brackets you're using, so I'm gonna install it. So I'm gonna do this, you can't see really well. I'm just gonna go over the other side like this. So you guys can see better like this. So the video card is installed. And the power supply in here, the how many watts, let me see, it's going to show you guys, this is a, it's a 290 watt power supply, so you don't have to upgrade, but you can install a little bigger video core like a GTX 1060 in here, perfectly fine, like this, or if you guys are going to be using for AutoCAD, then you can use, uh, show you guys, uh, if you guys are not going to be using for gaming, you're doing AutoCAD, then you can just go with the, uh, NVIDIA Quadro, the K2200, this is a really good video card, it's for the uh, AutoCAD. So I'm going to switch the other side. So what you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna plug in the monitor directly to the video card and uh, if you're gonna be doing the updates from Windows 10, 64-bit, then the drivers will install automatically. But if you're gonna install the drivers manual, then you have to go to nvidia.com website and get the drivers for it for the GTX 1050 Ti. See so you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.